Hi boys and girls, it's me. And this brown lump right here is just a towel thrown over my uh, pile I've got going on here. I'm actually uh, going through some tubes right now that I purchased today. And I'm probably going to use some and I'm probably going to sell some. But uh, I, found, I found this in one of the boxes. I thought this was kind of cool. I pulled this out. And it's very beat up and tattered. And it says here it's a Sylvania, Sylvania service part. And this is just as I got it. You know, it looks like uh, you know the mice could have gotten at it. A little few chew marks and stuff in here. So I pull pull this out, and there's a part that's wrapped in paper. And this is the part. Let me get it in my hand here. Set it down. Now, fortunately, I did not break this. This was broken when I took it out of the box. I was kind of a little bit bummed out. But what this is, this is actually a kind of a coil pack. You can see there, there's a resistor, a capacitor. And I flip it over here. And you see that there's like a little, looks like little bolt bearings, but they're little contacts. They're molded into the piece, and unfortunately, I, I I pulled this out. This was just as it was, so it already had been broken. So I'm trying. I, I thought I knew what it was, and my guess was correct. What this is, I got two pieces of paper here. Let me get one in front. I don't know how well you can read that? And this is just as I found it in, with the. Bite, bite marks for the mice and all here. It says instructions for installing Sylvania UHF adapter strip. And they have certain model numbers. And uh, it goes uh, for, for a particular Sylvania chassis. I guess it's model number 1508 1. So uh, this is kind of cool. Now, what, what, what this is all about, and it just goes to step by step instructions on how to install it. Okay, this is meant to go into a TV tuner. The early TVs did not have UHF stations available. Now I know that you, you, you folks that are a little bit on the young side don't know what I'm talking about. When televisions first came out there was two frequencies. Well, their main frequency, which is the only one available when TVs first came out uh, after World War II was VHF stations, channel 1 through 13. And then later on, when we got into the 50s, you could get UHF stations. But the early UHF TVs, well, a lot of TVs didn't have UHF. So you had to get individual parts such as this to put this in your tuner so you're able to pick up the UHF stations. So that's actually what this is. And then it has even more instructions. I guess that's what the tuner would look like there on the TV so just a lot of detailed instructions that's pretty cool so all that is is just because basically it's a uh, a tuner strip or oscillator st uh, strip and also it had on here it made a notation here like if you see up here by the top it says model 110014 to 110083 well, on the part, supposedly the last two numbers were supposed to designate what channel it was supposed to be. Now, I looked all over this part, and I only saw these two sets of numbers. This one here in black is 390 or 39QR, and this other one here is this A408. But that wouldn't make any sense. So with this 39QR, I have a feeling that this was for maybe, and I'm speculating because I don't know for sure, but I would say that this might have been for UHF channel 39. So, anyway, I figured that was kind of cool, so I wanted to share that with you, and, uh, and there you go. You never know what you're going to find when you buy a bunch of box of tubes off of Craigslist, right? <laughs> so anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Take care. See you real soon. Bye! Hi, boys and girls. It's me. 
And uh, I have this towel thrown over my uh, workbench right now. Uh, I have my, I have a 